For most people, the Luigi's Mansion series isn't all that scary, but it definitely has some scary moments with some of its boss battles. So I wanted to go through Luigi's Mansion 1, 2, and 3 and find which of the portrait ghosts or boss ghosts are the scariest. So yes, that means we are ranking every single portrait ghost and boss ghost in the entire series from absolutely not scary to completely terrifying. Also, I have a planned video to rank every single boss in the entire series from worst to best, but unfortunately I lost all my gameplay from Luigi's Mansion 3 and the original as well. So I, yeah, I had to put that on the back burner. But we will be using gameplay from Nintendo Productions for Mansion 1 and Kokiri Gaming for Mansion 3. Also, this ranking is not just based on appearance, it's based on the entire atmosphere around the boss, including the music, the battle arena itself. And I also just try to put myself in the shoes of Luigi and see which boss would actually Actually scare me in real life as well. So all those will be taken into consideration as we rank these bosses from not scary to scariest. But thank you so much for tuning in. I'm done yapping. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before we get started if you enjoy videos like this. And let's dive into which boss from the Luigi's Mansion series is the scariest. So we have 50 bosses on this list, also with six different categories. And the first one being really question mark, meaning they're not really scary whatsoever. Uh, the first one being on this list is the the Clock Tower from Luigi's Mansion 2. This one is just, you can't really be scared of this. There's nothing to be scared of. It's a clock with moving hands. It, you know, it's a clock. Enough said. Next up, we have Crueler from Luigi's Mansion 3. Crueler is pretty much the ghost form of Paul Blart from Mall Cop, and that's exactly how he is in this game. He's scared of everything. He's literally a ghost that's scared of like mice and everything around him, even Luigi at certain times. So he's definitely not scary whatsoever. Next up, we have Morty, which is the film director ghost from Luigi's Mansion 3, and he's not scary either, but the reason why he's a little bit scarier than Crueler is because of his lack of fear of Luigi. He simply just doesn't care that Luigi's there helping him, and he actually uses Luigi for a set piece. I know you actually have to fight Crueler, but it doesn't make him scary. I mean, he's literally just shooting Gooigi with a water gun, so that tells you how low stake that boss battle is and non-scary. But yeah, I'd say Morty is slightly scarier than Crueler. At number 47, we have Johnny Deep End, once again, still in that non-scary section, where he's just this big muscle-bound guy in a pool throwing volleyballs at you? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's the scariest part is at least this boss is really attacking you with some type of object that can actually deal damage, so I guess it adds a little bit of scare factor to it, but for the boss's design itself, it's just a big strong guy and not really that scary. Next up we have Steward, which is not scary either, but I think he adds a little bit more just because it's one of the very first portrait ghosts that you actually have to fight in this game, and is one of the few that you actually see in the beginning of the game actually wearing a mask and trying to pretend to be normal. So I guess he has a little bit of a scary factor to him just because he's just a little bit ambiguous, you don't know anything about him, and it's just kind of your first appearance but not scary nevertheless. Next up, we have Clem coming in at number 45. Clem is just in a very annoying boss battle, and as far as scary, not really, but I guess he does have more evil, creepy nature in him. I mean, he's trying to blow Luigi up with bombs, and he's also trying to jam him into spikes. So yeah, he's kind of mean, but as far as scary goes, not that scary compared to really any other boss on this list. Moving on to number 44, we have Jarvis, which is also a mysterious character, and he's just kind of this weird octo rock cloud balloon fart looking thing sticking out of a jar. I, I really do not know what Jarvis is. But yeah, it's just more mysterious. And I think it's just strange. And the creepy puzzle music that plays during this boss fight is also pretty interesting. But nothing that's necessarily scary, but just more mysterious. DJ Phantasma Gloria is simply a DJ that plays some pretty sick beats, but that's really about it. She does have a scary kind of scene though, where she gets very angry at Luigi and actually takes center stage where she has to battle him herself. And she kind of gives off a creepy vibe to her. Nothing super crazy, but at least a little scary to say the least. Coming in at number 42, we have Slim Bankshot. Slim Bankshot is just a normal guy playing pool. You know, and you might think, why is this creepy? Well, it's just 
Luigi's Mansion 1 had a lot of vibes, okay? And a lot of the ghosts when you enter the room just kind of throw you off guard. And he always kind of threw me off guard as like, whoa, okay, that was a little creepy. And he just, he has like a creepy look and a creepy run too when you're trying to suck him in. It, it, it's just different. And maybe it's just more of a thing that I grew up with, but I was always kind of scared of this guy. Just very slightly, but a little scared. And the last one for the really section would be the Godzilla ghost from Luigi's Mansion 3. This was meant to more be a fun callback to obviously the Godzilla movies with Morty directing a film with Luigi and Gooigi in it and it was a pretty cool boss battle but as far as scary not really because it's just a ghost in a costume but I guess it technically does out of every other boss in his row have somewhat of a scary factor with there being like a giant monster spitting plasma orbs at you so a little bit uh, I'll give it credit. Our next category is under not scary. The last one was more just joke characters that didn't have any fear whatsoever. These will just probably be not scary for most people, but maybe some people will find them a little bit creepy. And coming in at number 40, we have the three sisters from Luigi's Mansion 2. Now, the only reason that these are kind of creepy is because you're walking by this very creepy setting. It's in a graveyard, and as Luigi walks by, one kind of pops out of the dirt and kind of scares Luigi, and it does have a little bit of a jump scare factor to it, giving it a little bit more scare than the other bosses on this list. And next, we have Lydia, which is the second portrait ghost boss from Luigi's Mansion 1. And you might be thinking, why in the world is she even this high? She's just a mom that's doing her hair at her dresser. Well, once again, it's when you first play the game and it's very early, it's thundering outside and you see the flashes of lightning through the window. And it is just kind of creepy to first see her. And it gives you a little creepy vibe when she gets up and closes the curtains every time you open it. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but Luigi's Mansion 1 just had different vibes for their ghost that I loved. Number 38, we had Sir Weston, which was this frozen frozen solid ghost down in the basement in Luigi's Mansion 1, which actually the atmosphere itself is what made this ghost a little creepy. It's just you see this ghost that's frozen away and he's deep underneath the mansion. You don't really know why he was frozen away, which also adds to the mystery of the character. Overall, kind of creepy, but definitely nowhere near as bad as it could be. Next up we have Miss Petunia, which is probably one of the weirdest ghosts on the entire list, which is like this giant pig ghost creature. I don't know what they were going for here, but you find her taking a shower, and it is just kind of creepy, because you didn't really expect Nintendo to put a ghost taking a shower into this game, but yeah, she kind of gives you a minor jump scare, just something like, oh, there's somebody actually in here, nothing too terrible. Then we have Big Boo from Luigi's Mansion 2, which is nowhere near as scary as Boo Losses from Luigi's Mansion 1. It's just a big boo, not even creepy eyes or anything, and it just kind of attacks you in basic ways by trying to jump on you and slam you in the ground, but I don't know, I feel like the creepy setting with the train that you're trying to go for more just came off as like, oh, we're in a toy room fighting a regular boo. It, it didn't hit as much as I wanted it to. Number 35, we have the Possessor Ghost from Luigi's Mansion 2. They're more like your annoying little brother or something that just always tries to pester you. Nothing that's really terrifying, but maybe gives off a slight scare based on their design and their, you know, weird obsession with possessing things and also charging toward you. Next up, we have the Poltergeist, and this is the basic one that you find at the very beginning of Luigi's Mansion 2. I feel like the creepiest part about this is the music that you can hear him playing on the piano as you're getting closer and closer. That's definitely the creepiest part, because the actual boss battle isn't that scary at all. Next up, we have Chef Soul Flay, and the creepiest part of this boss, as soon as you walk in, him just kind of getting angry at you and trying to hit you with a frying pan. He's actually trying to harm Luigi, and he's not happy with him. But once again, not incredibly terrifying. Number 32, we have King McFrights, which actually takes suit in a giant suit of night armor and tries to actually stab Luigi. Yeah, he, he's not playing around. He does have a little bit of a creepy vibe to him as if he's like this evil king that also has lots of ghost minions that work for him, but nothing that's really going to make you pee your pants, you know what I mean? Next up, we have Nikki, Lindsay, and Ginny from Luigi's Mansion 3, where they're these three magician sisters, and I feel like the creepiest part about them is more when they go into the hats and kind of scare Luigi. They're actually trying to scare him, which is a little scary, and they also have a 
creepy laugh to them as they're spinning around Luigi. Yeah, I'd definitely say there's some scare there, but not a lot. Coming in at number 30, we have Dr. Potter. And I feel like the scariest part about him is also his Venus flytrap plants that are trying to eat you because they look like scary monsters in his hands. And I feel like a old ghost is kind of scary, like an old creepy man that's trying to get you. It's got a creepy vibe to it, but he's just not that creepy because he's very tiny and he doesn't really do anything himself that comes off as creepy. Next up, we have Spooky the Ghost Dog, which actually is more of just a dog. He doesn't really function like a ghost in any sort of capacity. I mean, he acts like a dog. He goes after bones, he drinks water, and yeah, he just chases things, including you. So it, it's hard to see this one as just more than a scary dog. Then we have Chambria from Luigi's Mansion 3, which I believe is how you pronounce it. She is the housekeeper and one of the first portrait ghosts in Luigi's Mansion 3. And yeah, I feel like the creepiest part of her is just the way that she looks. She looks kind of scary and I can't explain it, but she definitely does give off creepy vibes. It's I don't know if it's her hair. I don't know if it's just her eyes or her face. Something about her definitely does creep me out. And the way she's flying from room to room and hiding in the room and you have to find her definitely gave me a little bit of a like, oh, she's kind of creepy. At number 37, we have Neville, which is the first portrait ghost boss of Luigi's Mansion 1. And he's the father that's just kind of sitting there reading a book and getting ready to fall asleep by the fire. Why is he scary? It's because it's the first one of the game and you don't know what you're gonna expect from this game yet. And his yawn and just the sounds that he makes is kind of creepy and I don't know, there's just no music, there's nothing going on, it's just him in a rocking chair and you can't see him until he starts yawning and his heart becomes visible. It's kind of scary, just just, just watch. <laughs> Next up, we have the Clockwork Soldiers, and they are just very quiet. They act just like toy soldiers. They don't really make sounds or anything. They're just coming after you and trying to shoot you with their cork guns. And I think it's the quietness that does give it a little bit of a scare factor to it. Then we move on to the other poltergeist being the blue one, which is a lot more terrifying to me than the first poltergeist. It's just his attitude and the way that he acts is just a lot more cocky and arrogant as if he knows he's going to defeat you. I don't know. I don't like the vibe of him. It kind of threw me off a little bit like, oh, he, he's he's kind of a bad mamma jamma and he's just kind of twirling around the clock hands. Yeah, he definitely gave off more of a scary presence than the other one in my opinion. And the last one for this section is Vincent Van Gore, which is the last portrait ghost of the game for Luigi's Mansion 1. His look just comes off as a creepy evil painter, you know, and it's just like, I don't know, something about his vibe definitely threw me off and he's just sitting there painting as he's sending his actual paintings in the background after you and turning them into real ghost. Uh, yeah, he's a little creepy and he's just enough to make me say, all right, I can see some people saying that this guy is a teensy weensy bit scary. This next section that we're entering is the spooky section. These ghosts are a little scary and can actually scare some people and probably has scared some people that's played these games. Coming in at number 23, we have Biff Atlas from Luigi's Mansion 1. Now you might be thinking, why is Johnny Deep in from Luigi's Mansion 3 all the way down at the bottom of this list when Biff Atlas is all the way up here at number 23? Well, let me tell you why. Once again, it's the atmosphere of Luigi's Mansion 1. And when you first walk in, he's like lifting weights and working out and just moving around the room freely and it's a little scary. It's also scary how he can actually charge at you when you hit him with the punching bag and it kind of makes you not want to hit him because you're afraid of his reaction and yeah he's a big strong ghost that's coming after Luigi literally trying to punch him yeah, it's a little scary. And so is the giant knight from Luigi's Mansion 2. When you see that giant knight walk onto the battlefield, it truly is like, oh shoot, as you see his giant feet trying to step on you and his giant sword trying to cut through you. Now I will say if it was a giant ghost or a monster, it definitely would be a lot scary than what it is. But since it's just a knight, I can definitely see people saying it's not as terrifying as it could be. But then moving on, we have the floating Whirlindas. Everything is all cute and funny as you're taking out the shy guy ghost and the little 
quirky music is playing, but then the music changes and you see these two ghosts dancing together. And I don't know, it's definitely a combination of the music and how they're appearing and disappearing. Definitely brought some chills to me the first time I saw this. I was like, whoa. And I'm telling you, music does a lot for an atmosphere. It definitely can change the tone of the boss battle a lot because I will say if the music was just uplifting and cheerful, this would not be scary at all. Number 20, we have Uncle Grimly. I think this whole section of Luigi's Mansion was so terrifying when the power went out, and you have to go throughout the entire mansion searching for Uncle Grimly until you find him towards the beginning of the mansion. And he doesn't do anything that's really terrifying, it's just his presence. It's just kind of weird how you walk into a room and see him standing there in front of a mirror. It definitely had a moment where I was just like, oh gosh, and just the combined element of the entire mansion being pitch black definitely didn't help to it, especially when ghosts were popping up every which way making my way to this room. It was definitely a little terrifying. Then we have Ugg from Luigi's Mansion 3, which is this giant caveman ghost, and he actually possesses a giant T-Rex skeletal remains, and he's trying to eat you and chomp you as thunder and lightning are flashing in the window behind you. It's a pretty cinematic boss fight, and it's a little scary for sure. And even Ugg himself can be scary as he's chasing you with a bone trying to smash you and roaring at you as he's chasing you down. It's, it's a little scary. Number 18, we have the giant spider, which is the first main boss of Luigi's Mansion 2. Now, it's a spider, so it really comes down to if you fear spiders or not, but if you do, this is probably not a great boss battle for you, as it's a giant purple spider that's being possessed by a ghost, it's able to spit goop at you, and it's creepy kind of posture that it takes as you get close, as if it's about to stab you before you flash it in its eyes and push her back a little bit. It's also scary that she's got pretty much spiders all over the mansion and all over this hallway that could drop down and hit you or crawl across the floor and hit you. In the scenes where she chases you down the hallway after each section, can be a nightmare to somebody with arachnophobia. And for number 17, we have the killer staircase, which yeah, it's a pretty stupid boss design when you break it all down and look at it. It's just a staircase, but it kind of reminds me of the movie Monster House. If you guys ever seen it, obviously the ghost of a woman possesses a giant creepy old house. And it kind of reminded me of that with like the structure of the stairs and stuff. Ugh, it kind of gave me like creepy vibes. That movie used to always creep me out as a kid. I mean, it would absolutely be probably top five on this list if they actually had the whole mansion work this way instead of just a staircase. But the creepy creaking of of the stairs as it's trying to jump on top of you and it's glowing blue flame eyes definitely is a little creepy, especially when you knock it out and you just see the two posts kind of floating in a circle above its head. It definitely gives off a different vibe than most of the ghosts in the series. <laughs> Now entering our next category, which is the pretty scary category, we are starting off with number 16, Melody Piantissimo from Luigi's Mansion 1. She herself is not that creepy. She's just a little girl that's playing the piano. What's so terrifying about this? Well, it's when the battle engages and she starts playing frantically on the piano, a very creepy song, and you start seeing all the music sheets fly around the room and start attacking Luigi. It's actually kind of horrifying. It very quickly changes the tone of the battle, which is this fun little music quiz, to now an intense boss battle. And next up, we have Serpsy from Luigi's Mansion 3. The ghost herself isn't that creepy, but it's what she actually can possess and do, which actually can be pretty scary. I mean, one of the things that she actually does is possess the sand and turn into this giant sand head with these snakes coming off the top, and it's actually a very creepy looking scene. In fact, it actually did scare me a little bit because I, for one, didn't know what the heck to expect from the thing. And with this giant sand head chasing you across the arena, it definitely was pretty scary. Next up, we have the giant ice monster from Luigi's Mansion 2. This is just a creepy face, and honestly, if this was like an ice monster that was chasing you, I feel like it'd be creepier. It does kind of come toward you a little bit, but yeah, you're pretty much chasing it, if anything, and trying to blast it with bombs. But yeah, it can get kind of terrifying if you're missing bomb shots, especially when you have to shoot one in its mouth at the very end, which makes it kind of terrifying. It's a giant sheet of ice with a creepy monstrous face, 
it's pretty scary. Coming in at number 13, we have Helen Gravely, the main antagonist from Luigi's Mansion 3. She is pretty mysterious the entire time. Even when you first see her, you know something's up and she's always got this creepy, evil look on her face. But when she really gets mad and loses her makeup on her face, she looks pretty terrifying, almost like Medusa-like as she's trying to attack Luigi. It's definitely not a pretty sight and can be a scary one. And moving on, we have Nana from Luigi's Mansion, which is just an old woman ghost, like a grandma, that's sitting there in her rocking chair knitting as she's moving across the room. But it's terrifying. I don't know how to explain this. It's her little sound of her going, na 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 na, or whatever she does, and you could just hear her coming across the room in her chair and shooting these yarn balls at you. It's kind of scary. There's something about old people that just scare me. I don't know what it is, and especially old ghosts. This one is definitely a little terrifying. Coming in at number 11, we have Bogmeyer. Bogmeyer's face and look himself isn't that terrifying, but the way they present him outside in a graveyard with the thunder and lightning and all his clones popping up is definitely pretty scary. And his, you know, first appearance kind of just puts you back a little bit, like, whoa, what the heck is this and what are we going to be fighting? Like I said, he himself isn't that terrifying. It's more along the lines of his shadows and the atmosphere of this boss battle really makes him pretty creepy. And ending the pretty scary section, we have Madame Clairvoy. Now, she's not a real enemy in this game. You can actually suck her up at the end of it, but she's not really bad. It's just her presence. She is very creepy. The mansion shakes and trembles and roars as she's speaking to you. Her creepy music playing and her using the crystal ball. She's just very mysterious and very scary. If they actually had her be a very bad ghost that tried to attack you, I could see her being pretty terrifying and one of the scariest ghosts in Luigi's Mansion 1. But with her being in her calm nature most of the time, she's just more a creepy, scary figure to look at. This second to last section is terrifying creatures. Yeah, these guys are pretty daggone scary. And at number 9, we have Polter Kitty. Polter Kitty is this cute little cat, right? No, because once you flash her with your light, yep, she turns into this giant monstrous beast. And it's actually very scary how you have to take her down because you have to sit there and face the opposite direction and turn around and flash her at the right second in order to capture the cat. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Not to mention that she's hiding in various places in various different rooms, and it's always a shock when you find her. This is definitely a terrifying boss. But to me, not as scary as Amadeus Wolfguys. He starts off pretty mellow as he's playing the piano, but starts to get very angry and starts to get creepier and creepier as angry as he gets until eventually he possesses his own piano to try to eat Luigi all Mario 64 style. He is pretty terrifying and he even has an attack where he uses his mangled long fingers to try to play Luigi like a piano. Yeah, he's a scary guy for sure. And at number seven, we have Henry and Orville, the junior Wright brothers, I guess you could say, from Luigi's Mansion 1. These are two twin brothers, and they're pretty much just hanging out in their room until Luigi comes by, and they want to play hide and seek with them, which is already kind of creepy, and the creepy music is playing as you're looking for them, but then when you find them, even creepier music plays, as one goes up into the sky on a plane and starts bombing down on Luigi, and the other one's driving a car viciously across the room. I don't know, something about children as ghosts is even more terrifying than old people to me, and this was always a very creepy boss battle to me. Yeah. Next up we have Captain Fishhook, which once again reminds me a lot of Monster House, as he's able to actually possess the pirate ship, and it gets very creepy, as he goes from different parts of the ship, being the floorboards or even the back hull of the ship, where he's able to actually lift it up and almost drag Luigi down into its mouth. This is a terrifying scene, and I could not imagine being in Luigi's shoes dangling for your life on this one. This is probably one of the biggest dangers that Luigi was ever in, in Luigi's Mansion, and it's just terrifying all the way through, not to mention that the 
ghost itself is one giant evil shark. Like, that is pretty bad. The fish hook is a pretty awesome spectacle, and I love the whole possession of the pirate ship itself. Really just not only makes this boss battle one of the best in the entire series, but also one of the scariest for sure. That leaves the last one of this category and coming in at number 5 as the 5th scariest ghost in the entire series, being Boo Losses from Luigi's Mansion 1. There's something about the look of Boo Losses that's just never quite replicated anymore, and I really love that giant Boo creepy eye shadowy look that it has, and it kind of reminisces that of King Boo from Luigi's Mansion. It's just a terrifying looking creature, and the way it chases Luigi and even the little Boos all look very creepy in this game as they're all coming after Luigi. Once again, this one does have great atmosphere, but to me, it's mostly the design of the Boo, which really kind of puts it over the top as one of the scariest ghosts and bosses in the entire series. And for the final category, we have four bosses in this section, and these are nightmare bosses, meaning that they would probably scare anybody <laughs> given the opportunity to be in the game. And at number four, we have Mr. Lugs. Mr. Lugs is just terrifying because it's one of the first times in the game you actually hear that boss theme playing that's just scary. And he's just kind of raging at the table, spitting fireballs at you, just bouncing around. It just has this really creepy absolute nightmare fuel vibe to it and I can't explain it it's just the way the boss looks his giganticness and just his disgustingness all together in one package he is definitely a very scary boss in the series <laughs> Next up at number 3, I combined all three games as King Boo boss battles to talk about them because it's King Boo after all, he's the one ghost that you fight. In the first game, it's pretty terrifying as he's in a giant robot Bowser costume. It's not as terrifying for us maybe, but for Luigi, it probably is absolutely horrific for him as he probably is terrified of Bowser after, you know, him and his brother having to find him and go up against him as much as they have. But in the first game, he just had more of a twisted vibe to him as he was just so creepy spinning the room and diving into the picture frame, yeah, I just gave you goosebumps. For Dark Moon, he was just as scary as he was just this bigger figure to Luigi, obviously growing in size and just being really creepy to Luigi, jumping out of nowhere and jump scaring him and even throwing him into a giant mansion and chasing him drastically through it. And I don't think he was as scary at 3, but you're at the top of the giant haunted hotel and he's even bigger and even has duplicates now where he's able to strike you with lightning or even smack you with his tongue. He's more just gross and I guess a little bit more threatening, but not as scary as the other two, but he still is for sure in the top range of scary creatures and bosses within the whole entire series. And at number 2 we have Chauncey, the first main boss of Luigi's Mansion 1. This baby is terrifying, man. I will never forget the first time playing this game when I was little, and this baby just gave me nightmares, man. This baby, for one, you have to mess around with this stuff in the room and smack him in the head with a ball, but it's that cry. That cry that it let out was so creepy, and it putting you into pretty much your own playpen and growing humongous in size was definitely just as creepy as well. I do not like Chauncey. Chauncey is a scary baby. A ghost baby? Nintendo, how, how did you come up with this one? So real quick before we continue, I made a pretty bad mistake. So going through this actual online tier list that I found, I realized that it was missing a specific ghost, and it was missing Shivers, the butler from Luigi's Mansion 1. No, this is not the number one on my list that goes to another boss, but real quick, let me just talk about Shivers, and I'll actually place him on my full chart at the end of this video where you can check it out. I'd say Shivers definitely deserves to be in the pretty scary category. He's this butler that you first see and you really can't do anything with. You just see the candlestick floating in the air until eventually you light it and he makes this horrible scream sound as he's kind of running down the hallway. And when you're first playing this, you don't know what to do. You don't know if you should follow him, run away from him, what's going on. He's just a very creepy figure and it definitely does put some chills down your spine. Now the ghost himself doesn't really do anything scary. It's more just his reactions and the way that he just is in this mansion. Ugh, I, I don't like him. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
But now getting back on track for the number one scariest boss battle in Ghost in the entire series, that belongs to Sue P. Why is this sweet looking little girl so scary? Well, the whole theory and I guess actually confirmed story of Luigi's Mansion 1 is that all of these ghosts actually were real people that died, including Sue P. In her description in game actually says she died in her sleep when she was seven, which is just sad and terrifying for a Mario game. But yes, she is this little girl that you walk in and find that she's sleeping on the ceiling in her bed. And the way that she wakes up when you splash her with water is kind of scary. I don't know what it is about her, but she just gives so much scary vibe. She can shake the room, she can move the room around. She seems to be one of the strongest ones in the entire mansion, and she is definitely something out of a horror movie back in the day. She even has these creepy clown dolls that she can throw at you from across the room, and she actually communicates to Luigi like while she's sleeping in this weird creepy way that shakes the room in this deep creepy voice. Yeah, no thanks. Soupy, stay away. And that is every boss in the Luigi's Mansion series ranked from least scariest to the most scariest. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree with my list and what was the scariest boss for you and what boss would you be more terrified of if you were Luigi in this position. But thank you so much for tuning in and if you guys are really interested in seeing the entire series boss ranking, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications as that video will be going up shortly. But thank you so much for tuning in and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.